Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. We are putting together Hello Kitty today. She is on the smaller side. She's 22 inches, but still off the map because um, we had to slice a couple of things. So um, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I appreciate all the support I can get. Uh, the thing that we're gonna do today that is different, which I'm super excited about, is if I lift up this, first of all, if you bought the file, you would know that the file does not come with the softball. So we can add this. This is through Design Space. Um, it just has her hand up, so she's like this. So I wanted to add this, and if you notice, there's a little cutout because we're gonna be putting this little time mechanism in, the little clock mechanism, and this is going to spin like this. So I'm super excited to incorporate this moving piece for the first time on and off the mat character. Um, you know, she's also, and she's so stinking cute. Hello Kitty, Dodgers. Dodgers are having an amazing season, um, historic um, season. And so, um, yeah, I just thought it would be a fun time to do it. So, um, she's difficult in a couple, couple ways. She's, her face is really wide. It's basically one big circle. So when you think about a circle, unlike a rectangle where the rectangle is kind of slim we can use the diagonal um to to give us a little bit more length uh when we're cutting so with a circle it's just as tall as it is wide so i did go with 12 by 24 so this is this is one of the few times that i use 12 by 24 paper 12 inches by 24 inches paper um partially because on this one my main goal is to actually incorporate the timepiece, and I wanted it to look really good. So I went smaller. We don't have any seams other than here. I even went with 12 by 24 paper. Um, even with the 12 by 24 black paper here, it was still difficult because um, she was there's so much black in this in this character normally we don't have so many and the um and the the width of it is pretty thick so you know if you slice it straight down let me show you how much black there would be so you know again i opted for the 12 by 24 black paper so that i i actually cut it this way which i normally don't i usually cut it down this way um or just by default, it goes this way and this way, right? Because we usually do 30 inches. I, I feel like 90% of the time, my characters are about 30 inches. So when you're doing 30, you're gonna have multiple cuts. Um, but on this one, you know, if, if I slice it down any way this way, look, at it goes to the hat uh, a couple times, it goes to the eyes, it goes to the, you know, there's just so much black that I decided, um, I, this is gonna be one of my, I don't know, signature pieces, if you wanna call it that. Like, I wanna keep this one. This one is just so stinking cute. I want the ball to rotate. And so I just didn't wanna be, I didn't wanna be bogged down with those seams. So that's kind of, I wanted to give you that background. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, even with this one though, it runs across. So there's a little bit in the eyes and the nose. So that, I just cut an extra piece so that we can put it in and we won't see that seams. So the only seams that you're gonna see are the two edges right here. And I feel like um, it's minimal. It's about it's about an inch in seams because it's half an inch, half an inch. It's, it's thick. So anyway, I'm hoping that it's gonna, you're gonna be distracted by the ball spinning, by the beautiful glitter paper. I mean, this is ground up creations. I know I'm, I'm kind of giving you a lot of background here because I feel like this one strays a little bit. I'm gonna have the bow pop up and a couple layers there. I wanna do the LA and the Dodgers afterwards um, because this is not cut out of this piece. I want to add, I wanna bling out these pieces and so it will be like really popping, the LA and this piece. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So um, we're not gonna be able to do everything in this one tutorial. Um, piecing it together is pretty easy. What I wanna show you is this part right here. So what we're gonna do is, 
um, I'm gonna move all these pieces off because we know, okay, let me talk about one more thing before we just do this piece right here. And maybe I'll do it in, in, in sections, but we'll put in the battery piece first. Um, what was I gonna say? Right, <laughs> this piece, the border is really thick. So it is going to be critical that you line everything up before you glue down. This is gonna be one of those things where like a little bit off is gonna look really bad. So you wanna make sure that, like I'm gonna be looking on my screen quite a bit to make sure that this is this is exactly where it is, so uh, where I want it to be. So you can kinda of see, like there's there aren't a lot of clues as to where the pieces should go. The outline is so thick, so it's gonna be difficult to do that, and then you're gonna to have to eyeball everything. I mean, I guess we could have scored things, but I, I don't like, I usually don't like to do that. So, um, so yeah, so you're just going to have to be, I mean, luckily with this, this will help us line up the face and the face is so big. So that will give us a big clue. Um, this is going to have to go down a little bit. And then once this goes on, I'm so excited about this piece. This piece is going to rotate. Um, you know what I should have done is cut another piece of this one because this was sliced oops, this was sliced out but I would want to glue this down and I would want a whole piece back here so that we can put on top of this on, the, on top of this little thing so we're gonna put that together but I'm not gonna glue my my baseball to the top of this just yet because I want to do I want to cut another layer all right, so um, again, you wanna space this out the way, uh, you know, do a really good job of, of that before you start to glue things down. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start moving these pieces off and we're gonna do, actually, yeah, we're gonna do this backwards. We're going to do the foam and the clock piece to put it in place. And let me think about that. So once I put that in, will this make it difficult to work on? No, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> I know, I had to think about it because this is like um, my little masterpiece here. All right, let's move this all off. And we're gonna work on, I'm so excited to do this mechanism, this clock mechanism. All right, so I kind of gave you all the, all the tips and tricks on how to put this together. So. We'll move all these pieces off. Alrighty. So this was just in two pieces, it's 20 inches. Flip it over. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the two pieces are close up together as possible. So I always lift one piece hold it down and push it up against each other and then tape it down. So I'm just gonna tape this a little bit better. All right, now I'm gonna go grab the foam board so that we can trace out our pieces, okay? From the Dollar Tree. Um, it's a dollar twenty-five. I love it. It's easy to use. All right, here we go. We're gonna need to cut out this little piece right here so that the time, the clock mechanism can fit in there. Um, what you want to do is I always use a white pencil, and um, you just trace around the whole piece. Okay. Now when you're tracing, don't worry about the white marks because we're gonna cut inside the white lines so we'll miss all that. Down here, we're gonna cut right on the line. I want the foam board to be um, 
what Hello Kitty is standing on. So when we prop her up against the table or whatever it is, the foam board is the one that's touching the bottom. We're gonna line it right up so that the paper doesn't get damaged because the cardstock that we're using, this is Cricut and it's probably like 80 pounds. So it's not like super, super thick or anything, um, but with the foam backing, it'll be great. So I think for this, I'm not even gonna cut the whiskers. I'm gonna cut inside, like right here, around the face. Because it's not that thick and I feel like it's not worth it. It's not worth the effort. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this. And so you can see I have a you know pretty good outline of her. Um, when you're cutting the foam board, it is very important to have a sharp blade. Um, the other thing is the pressure is, you know, you wanna be able to hold this and get a good grip. Um, I like cutting on the self-healing mat because I can cut down really hard and it's all good. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all the way around just so that I can get rid of the excess so that we have, you know, that it's 20 inches, I'll be able to show you what it looks like. All right, so when you're cutting, I always like to do one continuous movement to make it really um, uh, nice and smooth on the, on the edges. So, and I don't mean for it to cut all at one time, but I'm gonna poke a hole here. I'm gonna just go down inside the white lines and I'm gonna cut just down like this. And you, so you see, I just want a smooth edge right here and I'm gonna get rid of this right here. That way it just gives me more space. Um, I'm gonna do it over here, same thing. On this top, I'm just gonna get rid of this. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it this way so that I can see what I'm cutting. I'm gonna try to cut on the line because this is the feet, okay, so. reason I didn't cut through right here so I'm just gonna flip it over I don't want this to rip because you know it's from the Dollar Tree it's not like I mean it's good quality ish but I don't want to rip it or bend it because I want this to last for a long time so um, if it didn't cut all the way through I want to flip it over and just score it a little bit okay I left this little section right here so now I'm gonna cut here I did not cut that well. You feel it there. Okay. So we've got the bottom, right? And now that we'll, we'll do the rest of this. So, all right, I'm gonna continue cutting. Do you know what it is? My tip isn't working that well. I did a really bad job cutting it right there. But you know, nothing we can't fix, so.
Okay, and then I'm gonna cut through the whiskers. I'm not gonna go right there. I'm just gonna go inside the face. We're almost done. So I'm gonna maybe start here. Pull this piece out. Last cut. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, let's see how well I did. Um, and we still need to cut out this little piece. But let's put Hello Kitty back on and see how we did over here. See if there's any, um, you know, anywhere that we need to fix. So I'm curious when I put this on. Oh, yeah, this needs to be better. Okay. So. I can see, I need to trim right here a little bit. Other than that, and just around here a little bit, actually. Yeah, so I'm gonna take out my, okay, so that's gone. And let's double check here. Okay, so I just need to trim this circle and a little bit right here, and that's it. Okay, so I do this really quickly. Oops. And then I gotta do the circle a little bit better. Hold on. I don't like my angle. It's not gonna be a good cut if I do that. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't know what is going on with the way I'm holding it. It's like my tip. I might have to change my blade. Okay. I think that's gonna be good. Let's double check. There's a little bit right here. Other than that, I think we're good. So I'm gonna trim this. I can see a little bit. I think that should be it. And then we'll cut out the inside and we'll see what that looks like. All right. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so let's pull this aside. Let's cut this piece right here. didn't cut all the way through I could feel it because I'm also being really careful right here because I don't want to um, I don't want to lose the integrity of the foam board right here because I need it to hold my tying piece so I'm trying to cut really really carefully
put this little guy in. We're gonna be gluing it in. So, and I, I know I didn't cut all the way to the lines, so we may need to cut it a little bit more. Okay, so it's in. Okay, it's in. I'm gonna stick in a battery. Okay, I'm gonna stick in a timepiece. Give me a second. So it's moving, you see that? And then we're gonna put this little guy on. Yay! <laughs> so um, what I would probably do is um, afterwards, I would, I would do hot glue gun all the way around here, okay? But for the time being, It's going to go like this. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it's stable. That's all that there is. So I would glue everything down afterwards. Um, yeah, the baseball I would put on last. Um, but oh my gosh, it's working. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end the video here because this is to install that time mechanism piece. Um, I would, I need to cut another one of the baseballs just so that it's one complete um, circle so that it will sit on top here and then it will spin all the way around. Yay. <laughs> all right, comments, questions, post them below. Um, there will probably be another video where we're, you know, I'm, I'm gonna finish up and I'll do blinging on one of them. All right, see you guys later.